This is a repair of a sharp LED TV and it's not turned on, but if you flash your flashlight, you can see the screen. So it's, I know that this is a backlight issue. First remove the back cover. Then looking, this is your power supply board, your TCOM board and the um, main board. And the, the first thing I'm gonna look is at the power supply board and identify the cables that go to the backlight and I'm going to disconnect the backlight connector using my LED tester, putting to the positive and negative to test to see if the lights do turn on. There are two connections. One of the connections is working, the other one is not. You can test if it's working because if you turn off the light, you can see the backlights going on there. But when I test the other strips by using the positive and negative, the voltage doesn't change there at all and there is no light so I know that there is a backlight issue. You want to remove these screws and items. First I'm removing the microphone then the connect all the connectors to the front panel. Removing the wires using my snippet tools. Removing the speaker wire. Removing the power button cables as well by just pushing the little clip and pulling out. Uh, using an electric drill, you can remove the metal bracket and the screws holding down the black plastic tabs. You'll remove the plastic hold, um, removing the plastic bezel there. You want to remove the ribbon cables by lifting up on the black tab and gently lifting out the ribbon cables. The front panel has a PCB that is glued to the TV and you want to use a screwdriver or a razor blade to go underneath that PCB. Be very careful that you don't cut those ribbon cables there and you want it to be freely to be able to move like this. After that you want to flip over your TV and then you're going to be using a star screwdriver to remove the small little screws on the plastic bezel that holds the LCD to the TV. There is a, also a little bit of tape that you need to cut and remove to remove the plastic bezel. Now what we're going to do is tape the LCD panel boards to the LCD. And using some suction cups removing the LCD to a nice surface. I'm just putting it on some bed sheets. There are, there's other plastic bezel that has little clips that just pull out with your finger and push up, going around the TV, getting it loose, and then you're going to remove that. That holds on the white filters to the TV. Now what you want to do is tape the filters together because it's very easy to get them confused of how they go on. So I like to use electrical tape to tape all four corners. And then gently lifting up on the edges, re uh, remove that filter papers. On the bottom, there's these little clips that hold the filter up. So you can wiggle them. If you can't wiggle them out, uh, you can flip it over. And there's little tabs at the back that you can push it with your fingers. Now removing the paper. And I'm using my LED testers to test each strip. They're all in series, so put the black on negative and red and positive and they'll light up. These ones are three volts you can see there. So when you get the replacement LED, make sure that they're three volts and they're usually about one watt. If there's a bad one, you're gonna break off the filter using a screwdriver and you can see that there's a black dot and it doesn't turn on. Using a snippet tool, I'm removing that bad LED. Then I'm putting some liquid solder. You can do this with a soldering iron. I'll put the link in the description how to do that. There's actually a, a big pad and a small pad. You just want to make sure that the new LED goes in the same orientation to get the right polarity, positive and negative. I'm heating it up with my hot air gun and you can see that it's the liquid solder is melting and then it makes a good connection. Testing the LED, making sure that it's work, working. And I'm going to put some silicon on the filter and then I'll stick that back over the new replaced LED and I'm going to be doing this. This TV had about 15 or, or 20 bad LEDs but if one is broken the whole TV won't work.
Now all you have to do is put everything back together in the same process that we took it off in reverse order and it should be good to go. You may want to also just plug it in before doing that to make sure all those lights are going on. Here I am on turning it on and you can see the sharp logo and the backlights are working and it's a success. I hope that you've enjoyed this video. Also a little tip is go into settings and go to your backlight and turn it down. This will make your TV backlights last a lot longer. If you like this video please hit the like button and subscribe.